Welcome everybody. Empty hands, empty hands, nothing in hands. Yeah, but that's how I like to do it sometimes. Nothing in hand, empty hands. <laughs> Jim Boy's Kitchen, welcome each and every one of you once again to another episode of Jim Boy's Kitchen. Ha <laughs> ha. And of course, uh, I want to show you a nice Thanksgiving treat that you could treat yourself after Thanksgiving. All right, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but this is something for Thanksgiving. Um, as we know, every year at Thanksgiving, all right? Yeah, and every year are after Thanksgiving, right? Last year, Thanksgiving, we still after Thanksgiving, all right? <laughs> I want to show you something when you have leftover turkey or chicken or whatever you did for Thanksgiving, whatever meat you have left over, you could al always. Uh, make it back in a creation of a little nice atmosphere of a dish where you can still treat yourself for a belated Thanksgiving day for your guest or yourself. Let's go. I want to show you a fast clip of this segment how to create a special dish with your leftover Thanksgiving meal. Are you ready? Jim Boy's Kitchen. And remember, if you like what you see, remember to subscribe. Leave that wonderful comment, uh, ring the notification bell, follow and share like you're crazy so others can uh, see how to prepare a belated Thanksgiving dish with leftovers. All right, let's go. <laughs> empty hands, empty hands. All right, here we go. A wonderful leftover for Thanksgiving. You have meat, you have chicken, you have turkey, a duck, whatever meat you like. I'll show you how to create another dish with a leftover, right? Oh man, uh, yes, uh, pretend now. This is a uh, got chicken. Pretend it's your turkey or whatever, right? So I'll show you a nice dish. These are all leftovers with the nice crumbs, the crumbs outside. Oh man, delicious dish. Not much to it. Just kick in it up a notch and show you. I got one onion cut in two halves with two cloves of garlic. I'll cut the bad boy up. Don't have to be pretty, don't have to be a superstar, right? Any shape is for our form. <laughs> Any shape is perfect. Remember, you're just doing a leftover uh, dish here. Look at this. You don't have to be a superstar. Everything will dissolve into there. I want to cut everything together. The garlic and every, everything. All right? If you don't have fresh garlic, that's perfect. Uh, but my advice to you, use some uh, fresh garlic to build that flavor, even though you're going to be using garlic powder. I got this vegetable cut up here. Show you the next step. Whatever you find that is to you like this, I kind of a run through the refrigerator. I found this uh, uh, little celery uh, prong hanging around. Uh, Still me chop it inside. It's going to be wonderful, all right? Just a couple notch. <laughs> Ta-da! Here's the cut up onion, garlic, and another piece of prong of celery. Now it's time to work on your meat, your turkey, your chicken, whatever you call it, right? I want to just uh, take the, skin, the flesh off the bones. So simple. At this point, uh, you're making a leftover dish, so you don't want to use the, the bone, all right? It's going to be kind of a messy, if you want to say. <laughs> don't want to use the bone, because you want to make a nice, mellow, refreshing, leftover, meaty dish, you know. Um, so I'm going to finish, uh, see how I did? Taking off the bone, and that's all. Discard of the bone. And um, some people love the bone to eat it. You know? <laughs> All right. So now I want to show you. I just want to cut it up. Cut it up like into pieces. Oh man, wonderful leftover dish after Thanksgiving. All right. So now you know what to do with your leftover dish, uh, your meat uh, that uh, you have baked or barbecue. <laughs> I want to cut this up. I'm finished cut up every single meat I want to show you now this is like the outside uh, what do you call it there those uh, um, fillings uh, right <laughs> you want to just move everything together and believe me when you're done with this these are all the, f the filling right you know you have that filling in your turkey and your meat your chicken you make use of everything 
in a delicious way. I'm going to finish cut it up this, just like so and show you the next step. Boy, who taught you to do the chicken like this after or the, or the turkey like this after Thanksgiving? Ah, oh, Jim Boy's Kitchen. You sure, gal? Who taught you to for the show, for do this uh, meat like this after Thanksgiving? Jim Boy's Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. Beauty and the Beast. The beauty is the cut up chicken here, or the ch cut up meat, the cut up turkey, whatever, remember. And uh, the beast is the meat itself, oh yeah. <laughs> Ah, with a meaty taste too. Now, got the pan here on for the heat. The secret is, I want to show you, at medium heat, want to get some butter inside. Butter is what's going to give the flavor. At this point, you don't want to use oil like you do a regular cooking. Use butter. So that's my little secret here on this leftover dish, all right? Butter creates a nice texture with a taste. It has its own flavor with a little bit of saltiness inside, all right? And uh, with medium heat because you don't want to burn the butter. Now, next step. Whilst the butter is heating up to a temperature, melting texture, wanna, before it completely melted, I want to add this wonderful meat inside. Ta-da! It gives that flavor so the heat will continue melting the butter into this wonderful meat, all right? Want to turn the bad boy up so the, the butter texture could be inside, uh, the butter taste could be inside of this wonderful meat. Um, this is gonna keep it moist, also. All right, oh man, look at this! Nice now, during this process, uh, the butter is doing its thing. At this point, you could make it a little bit more delicious, you know, love a little butter, you know. Uh, after uh, the Thanksgiving celebration, uh, you could relax yourself with just a little bit more fresh butter. How about that? Look at that. Now, you're going to make this so moist uh, that it's going to be wonderful in texture and taste, all right? Because the butter gives a wonderful texture and taste. Now, this is coming to come. Next step. At this point, you want to throw everything inside. Want to get all this vegetable to start uh, diffusing inside of this wonderful, uh, just like that, raw. Did not bungee nothing, notice, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn this bad boy up now. So everything is gonna kind of diffuse into this meat. Oh man, you had smell of vision already. You had a smell of vision, you smell about like this. You could actually eat with dal or any other thing, all right? At this point, you don't want to put no oil. Now, I want to show you some, a secret here. Now, the, let's say the barbecue meat or the baked meat was already cooked, right? Yeah, like what's happening here. But I want to add some ingredients, some salt and so, because I want to give taste now to the vegetables. The vegetables do need taste, all right? So, this is what I'll do. Love the white pepper inside. If you don't have white pepper, it's an option. That's okay. Love lots of garlic powder inside. <laughs> We're building this flavor in the pot, all right? Now, at this point, we're going to turn it over so it doesn't burn, all right? So, now, to get it uh, a little bit moist with no more butter, all right? That's butter enough for flavor. want to add a little bit of water. Put a little bad by water. It's just to keep it moist and uh, so that uh, the bottom stays moist uh, so it doesn't burn, all right? You just want to be careful. You're a cook. You know what I'm talking about. Now, I want to turn it up with that little bit of moisture. Oh, man, you had smell of vision What we got inside? White pepper, garlic powder. Let's continue on, all right? <laughs> oh, man. Love this cayenne pepper. Now we put uh, half a tablespoon inside, no big deal because uh, remember the meat is already cooked and with seasoning and all of these wonderful things. You're just kicking, up a, kicking it up a notch right now. 
Love this ground black pepper. Love this onion powder. <laughs> and above all, the bad boy salt for flavor again with the vegetables, all right? Now, I want to turn the bad boy up. Oh man, you have smell of vision. Look at that. And then I show you another little secret here. Show you how I'm going to build this up here with flavor. Oh man, look at this. You had smell of vision. This is the after Thanksgiving dish here. You could uh, retreat your wonderful guest uh, a, a second time for Thanksgiving on this uh, wonderful leftover here. Now, here comes the secret. A splotch, a quar quarter spoon, depends on the amount, the volume of meat. A quarter spoon of uh, garam masala. And of course, you could pick this up at any, uh, almost any West Indian store or Caribbean store, right? You ask for garam masala, just like they have curry powder. <laughs> and you put a little splotch of garam masala in here. Want to turn the bad boy up? Oh man, you know, you cooks, uh, especially Caribbean cook that uses masala, you know what it tastes like or what it smells like, the aroma of a masala. At this point, notice I'm not uh, burning the masala. I'm just going to kind of quench the masala, uh, let it dissolve into this wonderful um, dish here, right? Now look at this. Oh man, a Roman loved this on tabletop too, you know. <laughs> Now, here comes a splotch of this wonderful, um, let's say, a half a tablespoon of tomato ketchup. And a splotch, quarter tablespoon of uh, barbecue sauce. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, try my dish, you'll love it. My recipe, my creation of a, a, a Thanksgiving leftover, right? I'm gonna turn the bad boy up. You have smell of vision. Oh man, you could eat it just like so. You could eat this uh, with rice, you could eat this with roti, you could eat it with bread. Look at this, folks. Oh man, oh, look at this. Wonderful. Oh man, look at this. Now, I want to add a little bit more gravy. So, let me see if you know the secret how to make gravy. Ah uh ha -huh ha, -huh. just add some water. At this time, I've got to say hello to my man, Baldwin Notary Group. Uh, that's a portable, let's say a mobile notary. This man uh, go around and uh, could do notary, public notary for you. <laughs> Baldwin, a man that follows me a lot on uh, Facebook and of course uh, on YouTube. Well, I thank you, Mr. Baldwin, notary public. <laughs> You're a great person. And of course, and always with good words. Gotta say hello once again to the folks celebrating the birthday in November. All those scorpions. Uh, you are a scorpion, you fella. Yeah, you celebrating your birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. And of course, to the Sagittarians. Or the, I didn't say vegetarians. The Sagittarians. Uh, that's celebrating your... Uh, let's come to it. Sagittarius. <laughs> That's celebrating your birthday in December. Well, happy birthday to all you Sagittarius people and uh, Scorpion people. Yeah. <laughs> all right, from Jim Boy's Kitchen, only you could get that, all right? All right, I'm going to let this uh, go down with low heat now, and I'll show you the next step. I want to build some gravy in this, especially I love it with rice. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. This will just give me a creation of gravy now. Look at that. Oh man, lordy lordy, <laughs> love it, holiday leftover, or let's say, um, yeah, after Christmas or any other holiday that you cook meat, you have extras, do it my way, you will love it. Wonderful dish here, look at that, want to turn it over, so I've got some moisture with gravy going on here, you know, look at that. It looks almost like bacalao, like saltfish too, you know. Yeah, holiday leftovers. Look at that. All your leftover turkey, your uh, your meat, and uh, all these wonderful things. Wonderful for Thanksgiving. Oh, man, this goes well with dal and rice too, you know. Yeah, dal and rice. 
<laughs> oh man, look at that. And that's done, folks. The dish is done. Want to show you? And uh, this is the finishing product. Make it my way, you love it. Leftover meat from any holiday. Treat yourself my way. Jim Boy's Kitchen Way. My hands are empty. My hands are empty. My hands are empty. Psych. <laughs> All right. I hope you did enjoy the dish of mine that I created. A, it's a Thanksgiving meaty treat after Thanksgiving or any other holiday, Christmas, New Year's, any holiday, any occasion that you happen to have extra meat, you could create it my way, you'll love it. Treat your guests, treat yourself, all right? Until the next one, folks, once again, Mr. Baldwin, I do appreciate it. Um, to all these wonderful people. Uh, hey, I got uh, uh, from Facebook and, of course, uh, uh, YouTube. But I thank you very much for cooperation, your cooperation. Thanks to all you subscribers, I do appreciate it. Uh, one day I'll mention each and every one of your names. And to non-subscribers so far, what are you waiting for? Even though I tell you what, you're not a subscriber as yet, you are still special to me. Until the next segment or the next scenery, next dish or the next scenery, the next segment, Jim Boy's Kitchen saying, be kind to someone that's not kind to you. Kindness will always and always prevail. Trust me on that. Ha <laughs> ha. Until the next one, Jim Boy's Kitchen saying, adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody. My hands are empty. It's empty. Psych! <laughs>